The UCI Women's World Tour races are coming thick and fast now. With race 14, the GP Lorient Agglomeration Trophée Serretisit, the 25th day of the 2021 competition. And we've headed to Brittany, in the northwest of France, for this famous one day classic with some big names riding here in Plouay. 11 laps on this course will be really hard. Uh, there's all the time something happening, small climbs, a small road, so it will be a lot about positioning and I think it will be a full guest today, so no time to get bored. You know, it's the rendezvous that uh, I'm looking for every year. Uh, this is the race that um, I really enjoy the most with the public because they're all there uh, to cheer for me. And uh, yeah, it's just an occasion to to share with those people who are supporting me the whole year and uh, it's a beautiful day so everything is uh, really neat to have a good day. Yes, uh, I already raced here uh, the last uh, three seasons and um, I think uh, it's a bit uh, a nervous circuit and uh, but we are lucky because the bounce is not so big and uh, the race uh, can be hard because it's longer and uh, there are a lot of uh, steep climbs uh, to do many many times uh, and uh, I think uh, also the other riders want to attack uh, and uh, do an aggressive race uh, in, uh, in my opinion it can be a hard day but uh, with the sun uh, it's always good. With 11 very hilly laps and a total of 150.4 kilometers ahead of them, the peloton rolled out for what was to be a very exciting day's racing. And though the pace was high, the peloton stayed together for much of the first half of the race, ticking the laps off together. But with 70 kilometers remaining, Aliona Amialusik and Jard Viel escaped the peloton and set about building a lead. Amialusik did much of the work and was soon alone, though behind her, the peloton was becoming increasingly active. On the penultimate lap, Italian champion Elisa Longoborghini attacked hard and gained a small lead, though the bunch was in no mood to let her go, a number of riders trying to track her down. One of those was Mavi Garcia, the Spanish champion, catching the Italian champion and catching Ami Alusic at the front. While they worked well together, Longoborghini was aggressive throughout, repeatedly attacking. And after a regrouping as the final lap began, she escaped again. Longo Borghini was in fighting mode now, working as hard as she could to build a real lead, while behind, smaller groups formed and broke up again, desperately trying to catch the Italian. But there was no stopping Longo Borghini, and the Trek Segafredo rider stayed away, taking the time to sit up and really savour a well-deserved and truly remarkable victory, and well ahead of the chasing pack. Crossing the line with a smile, Behind Longo Borghini, Arkea's Gladys Verhulst took the best result of her career in second place, with the fast improving Kristen Faulkner third. Yeah, actually the plan worked out really well, uh, despite the crash of Audrey, because we tried to, to give her a chance to, to, to get this race, because she's Breton and uh, she really cared about this race. Uh, in the end they asked me to attack and to make the race hard, and so I did. And, my my chances are always to to, to win a race or to, to get solo. So I try to go away and uh, yeah to roll the dice again. Uh, it's always hard for me to win, but uh, yeah I managed. And uh, this is for Luca, your Chilena, our team manager. Uh, I think I need an extra boost of energy, and uh, hopefully we did today. We gave it to him. Um, so well now we are on. Focusing on the next races and on the next month, this is going to be really uh, busy. Um, C'était une course vraiment dure. Il euh, y avait beaucoup de dénivelé et beaucoup de vent. Euh, après, j'avais la consigne de pas de pas bouger et de pas faire d'efforts. Il fallait vraiment que je fasse l'effort sur la fin de course. C'est ce que j'ai fait. Je me suis vraiment accrochée sur les trois derniers tours. Et ensuite, je sais que j'ai une pointe de vitesse au sprint et j'ai fait mon sprint et j'ai débouché aux 200 mètres et j'ai fait mon effort jusqu'à la ligne. I mean, it was a super tough day out there. We kind of always expected it was going to be one of those kind of races on a course like this. There's just there's no relent. And um, yeah, I think we went into the day knowing that uh, 
Trek Segafredo are going to be sort of the team to, to watch today. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, I guess they really had the better of us today, I think. Um, I think Ash and I really tried to pull something nice together at the end in the final there. But uh, yeah, we, we just, uh, and neither of us could really um, get into that, that winning move today. And, and yeah, that, that happens. Sofia Bertizzolo took fourth ahead of Evita Music, with former winners Eugenia Boyak and Lizzie Dagnan sixth and seventh. The only change in the UCI Women's World Tour classification is Elisa Longoborghini, whose fantastic win puts her up one place to fourth, behind the Dutch trio of Annemiek van Vleuten, Mariana Vos and Demi Vollering. There is no change at the top of the UCI Women's World Tour Young Rider standings either, though it's getting close after Evita Music closed the gap on Neve Fisher-Black in first place.